Bad things can happen if you let someone move in before closing. Hi, I'm Chuck Vosberg from Next Home Gulf to Bay, and along with my wife, Pat, your favorite realtors. So the question comes up, can we let somebody move in before closing? A lot of buyers ask for this, and we always say, no, don't do it <laughs> to our sellers. And let me tell you what can happen, and I'll start off with a little story for you. Recently, we had a transaction where everything was looking good. It was coming pretty close to the end of the transaction. We just had about two weeks left to go, and everything was great. And the seller had some furniture for sale on Facebook Marketplace, and it turned out the buyer responded to the ad to buy some of the furniture, and he gets there and he's like, wait a minute, this is the house I'm buying. So the two of them get to talking and they become friends, and the guy asks him, like, hey, do you mind if I move my stuff in here early? Because, you know, we, we got a truck and, you know, it would just be really awesome if we could do that. So the seller, against our advice, said, sure, I don't see a problem with that. So they get all their stuff moved in, clothes are hanging in the closet, all their stuff's there, all they're doing is waiting for closing day and they just show up. Well, two days before closing, that guy's employment changed and his loan got disapproved because of that. So it was a dead deal. It, it was tragic. So here's this guy. Not only is he not moving two days before he was planning on it, so he's got to scramble, find a place to rent, some place to live, or else they're going to be homeless because their place had already closed. But he's also got a house full of stuff to move on top of all of it. So fortunately for us, he was an honorable guy, and we uh, we kind of helped him out a little bit. Got a big U-Haul truck. He loaded all his stuff in the U-Haul truck, and they actually kept that U-Haul truck for a couple days with all their stuff in it while they scrambled to try and find a place to rent. So even if you're the buyer and you're asking to do this, keep in mind that deal's not over until it's over. We see this constantly where totally unexpected things happen at the very last minute to either delay the closing or in some cases even to make it not happen at all. Now, let's say that you actually go beyond that. Let's say you're a seller and you take it the next step. You not only let them put their stuff in your house, but you let them move in as well. Well, now you may have bigger problems because a few things can happen. Let's just say, for example, something happens to the house while they're living there. Maybe there's a fire and maybe it's their fault. Well, it doesn't matter whose fault it is because it's still your house. They don't have to close if a fire happened, so you'd be stuck holding the bag. And this could, it could be any other kind of disaster, a flood, whatever. It doesn't matter whose fault it is, it's on you. And they are already living there. It's also very difficult to make people leave once they're moved in. And in any case, let's say that the whole deal blows up and it doesn't happen. You're stuck not only having to start over and find a new buyer, but there's a big delay there, potentially a giant delay, while you try and get these people and all their stuff out of your house. So for that reason, plus all the other liability stuff, and of course, I'm not a lawyer and I'm not qualified to tell you legal advice, but I can tell you from a practical standpoint, if you're a buyer, don't move in early. It could turn out to be a huge inconvenience for you, even though you think it isn't. If you're a seller, my advice to you is, don't do it. The risk is great and it just isn't worth it. The and frankly the the buyer's problems about, you know, their housing situation is not your problem to solve. That's their problem and their agent's problem to solve. So that I know that's kind of a harsh way of looking at it, but one thing that we do is we're the ones that don't put the emotions into it. We're we're totally unemotional to us. This is a transaction and we're facilitating a business transaction for our clients. So it's our job to be totally neutral on this and not get involved in the emotions of it. So I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, just ask us. We'll tell you anything you want to know. Also, if you're um, maybe you're thinking about buying or selling, 
we'd love to help you. Give us a call so we can talk about what your options are. So I'm Chuck Vosberg from Next Home Gulf to Bay. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to the channel too. Bye-bye.